My name is Jerry Ficklin. I'm a senior principal design technologist at Frog in Texas. We couldn't ignore the influence of the make movie on design, DIY and make influence on design. So we thought we'd do this big homage, gather together all the makers in the office, convert some people to makers, and do this playful turn on really traditional gaming experiences, making physical interfaces digital and digital interfaces physical. And we call it the Maker Arcade. Everybody's familiar with the game Tron, um, you know, the old school game where you have a top-down view, and it's kind of like the death match, the race to the end. Um, that's what this is loosely based off of, uh, but brought forward into, into the future of physical meets digital a little bit more. Um, so what you're seeing is, is the basic setup, um, two bicycles back to back. Uh, each person has their own view of gameplay, and then we also have a crowd view. The screen in the center represents the sort of midpoint view or aerial view of the two players while they're playing. So it's great in terms of individual gameplay, but then you also have the nice performance aspect of it where all the spectators get to see sort of the dynamic gameplay as they're racing around and, you know, it sort of zooms in really close when they're about to, you know, get to this point where it's neck and neck and then, uh, you know, you see the explosion and then it goes into this sequence where you really highlight the winner. It's, it's based off of an old Schwinn bicycle, you know, the 1970s exercise bike. Learned how to weld to, to do this. So, you know, we did stress test it, and there was some nervous moments there, like, I don't know if this weld's gonna hold. There's over 500 LED units with two soldering points on each side. So a lot of soldering went into it. Um, that, was, that was pretty fun, because we got to teach everybody how to solder. Uh, how do we get speed sensor? We started off with a dynamo, and then we realized that that kicks out AC current and fried a few boards because of that. So also learned how to use a diode at that moment. It was like, I'm going to stop frying my boards. We used a, a, a transfer uh, communication protocol called Fermata uh, in order to send the data from Arduino to um, this package that's uh, called the NetLab Hub. And it's a um, specific framework that was built to rapidly get Arduino and uh, other type of microprocessors connected into the Flash framework. The hub handles the, the multi-threaded connection because you can see here we've got these components that each one of them uh, handles a different data stream. So we have, uh, this is like bike one's uh, steering, which you can see um, we change here, right? And then we've got uh, another one set up, another stream set up for, for the pedaling. You really have to work to play this game. And if you want to go fast, you're going to be pedaling quite hard. Uh, so I haven't seen a person that's really walked away without sweating yet, which has been awesome. So a lot of our builds were taking something digital and making it physical, but here's one where we took something physical and made it digital. We took a classic Hasbro game, Connect Four, that one where you drop the little uh, buttons in in the top to try to string four of them together. And we wanted to kind of make a digital version of this, and we also wanted to tease in some form of social facilitation. So we renamed it Crowd Connect. And we make a whole field of two by two foot essentially press buttons that control a projection of the game. So each uh, platform has a pressure switch. We ran three bus circuits under each platform, one for a light, one for a light bus and one for a switch bus. We gather them all up to a really cool, awesome master control station where we have 64 relays laid out. We have four zero si fidgets, zero, 16, 16, 16 is laid out. And those do all our uh, uh, power switching as well as allow us to tap in and read when power is switched. And that's how the whole thing works. And so we're going to release one human at a time. Each one is a play piece. They walk to their spot to make their play, and then a computer will make a play. And then the next mu human has to make a play. So it's a great like examination of crowd wisdom versus the cold, hard logic of a computer, and we want the crowd to win. When we're building the game itself, you can't build it so like a regular video game. Regular video games, you know, progressive disclosure walk people through the idea of how to play. And this is like, the person has to come up, they have to be able to play and feel satisfied. And if that happens, then, you know, we did it.